What is up guys, AshBFC here and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snake. So last time I had a snipe off with uh, Sniper Wolf after she shot Meryl multiple times, who is now missing. But uh, Wolf's also disappeared, so um, hmm. let's try and head through here. It's hard to miss when you're this close. Toss your weapon over here. Slowly. You're a fool to come back here. Stupid man. A lady sniper, huh? Don't you know that the majority of the world's great assassins are women? Do you want to die now? Or after your female friend? Which will it be? I'll die after I kill you. <laughs> Is that right? Well, at least you've got spirit. I'm Sniper Wolf, and I always kill what I aim at. You are my special prey. Got it? I've left my mark on you. I won't forget it. Until I kill you, you're all I'll think about. Take him away! Don't kill him yet. I want him alive. Leave it to me. I want no more accidents like that DARPA chief. Yes, he's my target. Mine alone. Can you hear me, Solid Snake? He's tougher than I thought. Do you know who I am? I always knew that one day I would meet you. The man who stole the light from my life because of you! Me? Why, I'm the man from whom you stole everything good. And now, after the sacrifice of our brothers, after thirty long years, finally, the two of us meet. The brother of light, and the brother of dark. Forget it. Your body is strapped down tight. Do you need his genetic information, too? Yes. I want a sample while he's still alive. We need it to correct the genome soldier's mutations. Then we'll be able to cure them? No. We still have to get our hands on Big Boss's DNA. Have they given in to our demands yet? Not yet. They won't give in. They're all hypocrites. Every one of them. Is that your opinion as a Kurd? They always put politics first. That's right. That's why they want to avoid any leak about their precious new nuclear weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend is awake. <laughs> the 
There definitely is a resemblance. Don't you think, little brother? Or should I say, big brother? I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You and I are both the last surviving sons of Big Boss. It's me. Really? Then what? <clears throat> Those idiots! All right, Raven. I'll be right there. <sighs> They're not responding to our demands. We'll launch the first one in ten hours as planned. Damn Americans. Looks like you read them wrong. Something's funny. Normally, the Americans are the first ones to the negotiating table. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down to it, has it? We're gonna launch that nuke and ride it all the way into history. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Wanna stay for the show? I'm not interested. It's time to feed the family. So, you prefer your wolves to my show, hmm? Ocelot, don't screw up like you did with the Chief. Yes, I know. That was an accident. I didn't think a pencil pusher like him would be so tough. Well... His mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Boss, what about that ninja? He's killed twelve men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my hand. How could he have gotten in here? Perhaps there's a spy among us. Mantis is dead. We've also got to find out what killed Baker and Octopus. We're short-handed, so make this little torture show of yours as short as possible. Torture? This is an interrogation. <laughs> as you wish. See you later, brother. Your woman is still in this world. Meryl. She picks a target. She doesn't think about anything else. Sometimes she even falls in love with them before she kills them. Finally, just the two of us. How are you feeling? Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolving bed of yours. Too bad I was sleeping alone. Glad to hear that. This is some bed, all right. I'm about to show you some of its 
Nicer features. Where are my things? Oh, don't worry. They're all there. Washington was taking quite a chance sending you here. Someone must have a lot of faith in your skill, hmm, carrier boy? Huh? So, Metal Gear is armed with a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? Why don't you go ask Campbell for the full story? The Colonel? By the way, you got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? What if I did? Is that the only disc? There's no other data? What do you mean? There's no copy? If not, that's fine. Is Meryl okay? She's not dead... yet. Thanks to Wolf's whim. But it's up to you if you want her to stay that way. You were holding one card key. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that key? Trick? That weasel of a president said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. I see. No problem then. We're going to play a game, Solid Snake. And we'll find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear, just give up and your suffering will end. But if you do, the girl's life is mine. Press the resist button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the surrender button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. Don't even think about using auto fire, or I'll know. I don't even have it! Snake, it's been a long time since you saved your game. Yeah? So what? If your body can't survive the torture, it'll be game over. You really want to travel down that long road again? Come on, I won't tell. Why don't you just give up? I'm going to run a high-voltage electric current through your body. If it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. Did you know that it was the French who first thought of using electrical shocks as a means of torture? Hey, French films are all right, but I don't care about that crap. Mm, you're a tough guy, Snake. But I've got some bad news for you. You're no POW. You're a hostage. There's no Geneva Convention. No one is coming to save you. Starting to feel a little scared? Good. You should be. Okay. Let's get started. Okay, here we go. Gotta survive the torture. It's not that hard, to be honest. It's gonna rapidly press A. But Meryl's life depends on it. So if you submit, she dies. If you survive, she lives. And her living is the canon ending, so we're going for that. But God, I could never, ever do this when I was a kid. Uh, in the original game, anyway. I was weak! Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. You're the boss's brother, all right. Your brother. He's an amazing man. Who else could shoot down two F-16s with a chopper? The Les Enfants Terribles project was not a total failure. He is the one man who could make my dream into a reality.
looks like I got a roommate. DARPA chief. Whew, what a stench. Snake, are you okay? I've been better. House Merrill. They got her. Damn. Colonel. Okay. I know. Snake, the government has decided not to give in to their demands. We're trying to buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? I'm sorry about Merrill, but I want the lies to end now. What are you talking about? Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? You knew it all along, didn't you? Why did you try to hide it? I'm sorry. Can't tell the grunts, huh? You've changed a lot. Metal Gear. Secret advanced nuclear weapons research. Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the President had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis. Is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the President and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the START III Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified START II, or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the President's reputation, and America's place as the dominant superpower. So, you turn to Black Ops. Convenient. Please, Snake. Just stop them. To serve your interests? Because we're relying on you. In that case, tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before, I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. You see? Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about. The President has adopted a firm public stance vis-a-vis -vis bioethics. We don't want the existence of the Genome Army to go public. And that's the only reason? Huh. <laughs> the hell with you. I'm sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Poor man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the Chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines in the transmitter. Did the Chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn! Is there any way to prevent it? It seems there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that ArmsTech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. I'm sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there, and get to the communications tower. Also... What? Meryl, right? Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. Alright. Oh, there's Johnny. Deb, I caught a cold. That witch! She took my clothes! Of course, he's referring to Meryl there, who kicked the crap out of him <laughs> near the beginning. So yeah, we're stuck in this cell, and um, it's not exactly hard to figure out. The game's made it pretty clear. 
as to what's going on here. Who we saw in the beginning was not actually the Darba Chief, it was Deke Octopus. That's the real Darba Chief who was killed by accident uh, by um, Ocelot during the interrogation. That's what that scene was all about when he goes, You fool! You killed him! He's like, Sorry, boss. And uh, yeah, so. Anyway, I'm going to end this one here. And uh, well, next time I'll have to see if I can figure a way out of this goddamn cell. Because I can't destroy Metal Gear stuck in here, can I? With a dead body covered in maggots and a guy sneezing outside. So, as usual, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.